Currently, through software, no mod chip necessary. But you still need a copy of Zelda. Yes. So get your Twilight Princess and follow us. Yes. Things that you will need in order for this to work. One, obviously a copy of Zelda that is listed as working with the hack. Number two, an SD card. It doesn't need, it doesn't need to be very big. It's not holding much right now. And then other than that, uh, a computer and you're good to go. Let's get a roll on this. Step one, you need to load the hacked Zelda save games onto your Wii. Go ahead and put your SD card into your PC and format it as a fat partition. After you formatted it, you need to copy over the Zelda games onto the root of the memory stick. After that, take it out, put it into your Wii, and then go into the Wii options and go into the data management for your Wii. Go ahead and erase your previously saved Zelda game. You need to have at least played Zelda once in order for this hack to work. After you've erased your old Zelda save game, copy over the hacked Zelda save game. The one that corresponds to the area you're in. USA for most of the people probably watching this. So copy that over and then after that you should be good to go to start running the Twilight hack. Step two involves running the Twilight hack in order to install the homebrew channel. Home homebrew channel rocks! Rocks! What you need to do is go ahead and format that SD card again. It's a recommendation from the homebrew channel developers. After that, go ahead and load the boot.elf file onto the root of the memory stick. Go ahead and take that and put that into your Wii. And then go ahead and load up the Zelda game. And the save game that you want to restore is the one corresponding to the disk. Uh, zero for disks ending in serial number zero, two if it ends in two. And then after you've loaded up the appropriate save game, go ahead and either talk to the character in front of you or walk backwards. And either of those actions will initiate the hack. And it will start loading that boot.elf, which will then run the homebrew channel installer. Just press one. Just press one. Just Press, 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 press. There's a warning in there somewhere about breaking the Wii, but that's that's just a disclaimer to cover the developer's ass. And ours. <laughs> just press one. <laughs> now that you have the homebrew channel installed, you need to set up the memory card with the homebrew apps and games that you want to run. Go ahead and put the SD card back into your PC. You can go ahead and delete the boot.elf because you don't need that anymore and go ahead and create a folder called apps. This is where all the homebrew has to go. This is the directory it's reading from. Uh, in our instance, we're loading the NES emulator and a Quake. Yeah, it's a Quake emulator and the shareware wad. <laughs> <laughs> or pack. <laughs> yeah, so those go in the apps folder, but supporting files for those go in the root of the memory stick. For the NES emulator, there's a special directory called FCEU which contains the folders for ROMs and saves, and a folder called ID that contains the WAD files for the Quake demo. Pack, whatever. Whatever they, ugh. Yeah, so if you want ROMs for your nest, pdroms.org is the legal way. Yeah. <laughs> legal. Anyways, after you've set up the folder structure and the apps on your memory stick, go ahead and put that into your Wii. Go to the homebrew channel, load it up, and it should give you a list of all the games that you, and games in Homebrew if you put on there. Go ahead and select any one, and you are now playing Homebrew on your Wii! How awesome is that? Really. Okay. And that's episode five with getting Homebrew on your Wii. Yeah, so go to twosmartguys.com to see more episodes. We've got a new show, The Brew Review, where we'll be reviewing the different things that you can put on your your yes. Wii, your Wii channel, Wii, brew, homebrew channel, your homebrew channel on your Wii, as well as iPhone and 
PSP and anything, anything else that we find that, that can run homebrew. <laughs> that we find interesting. Yes. So stay tuned. We've got forums help you out. We got a we we hacking DVD out now. So if you donate ten bucks, we'll send you that. <laughs> okay. Follow Good luck. follow me on Twitter, Walking Crow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a Two Smart Guys production.